Before we get to the video, head over to www.gaudysgarage1.com to pick up a shirt like this or many other different kinds of clothing. Um, we got coats, we got jackets, we got sweatshirts, we got shirts, we got hats, we got harnesses for the Rams, Jeeps, Chevys. And our newest, we have this Gotti's Garage pocket knife. Comes in its own case like this, Gotti's Garage right there, laser etched onto it. It's a very sharp blade. It's got a little window breaker right here, seatbelt cutter right here. So it's the perfect tool to have in an everyday vehicle. We got a serrated blade right here onto a smooth, straight blade right here very sharp all black as everything on my channel so go ahead and go to www.gaudysgarage1.com and pick you up some uh merch every dollar of the proceeds of the profit go to the channel the builds and awesome tools like the one you're about to see right now i saw No black and we cozy Can't say you low, you gotta show me High with my guys, then I'm doly hey. Ain't no vibe like this, they don't rock like this And you know we don't miss Swish. Man, They don't catch my drift, tell them I ain't they bitch Or catch my bitch uh -huh. Ain't no vibe like this, they don't rock like this And you know we don't miss they don't, they don't catch my drift, tell them I ain't they bitch Or catch my bitch I'm in a cup with my homies, I'm in a cup with my homies hey, in a cut, in a Show no love to the police, show no love to the phones no love, no love. She wanna come to my homie, she wanna ride like a pony no way. Better pay up if you owe me, don't come around like you know me What's going on guys and welcome back to Gotti's Garage This is gonna be a tool review video And in today's video we are gonna be reviewing the Hardell screw nut gun or riv nut tool If you will Bought this off Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description below. And uh, we're going to show you guys how to use it. So it comes with a whole bunch of uh, rib nuts. That's what these are. So you either want to have a pre-drilled hole or you have to drill a hole. And all it does is it slides in right here. So you got it slid in. Oops. So what to expect in this little toolbox, you guys get the actual tool itself plus plenty of little ends that the rib nut tool screws onto. So obviously this isn't the right one. All right, so like you see, the ends screw on right there. And to take this tool apart, it's actually fairly simple. You got this little tool right here. You push this little pin completely out and then loosen up this little nut right here. This comes out, which then allows the whole tool to slide out. And then we're going with this one right here. So under the same process, you just slide that in, push this little pin in, just like so. And then you want to thread this bolt on, and that allows it to move like so. So we're going to tighten this down. All right. And then you can thread this on. So now that the little rib nut is threaded all the way on like such, you can move this out of the way. And then we can begin put the little rib nut inside the hole and then you just squeeze. So what I like to do is after you do it once, just kind of tighten a little bit, and give it a little another one just so it's securely in there and you can unthread it. Cool. So if you guys can see that, it is actually in there. If you look on this other side, it is squished down. And that thing isn't coming out. Then you can just go ahead, take your bolt, and thread it in there. And we'll actually torque it down to kind of see what it torques to. So we got this little Harbor Freight torque wrench. 
and we will go ahead and put it up to let's say we'll go 50 foot pounds for right now let's see how that works i think this metal might be a little too thin but we're going to keep trying that broke <laughs> Bend this little back, but then you can see it's in there. And now whatever that you needed to bolt up. So for instance, my radiator on my Mercure bolts up to the frame, but the threads were all stripped out. So I was able to drill the hole bigger and then throw in a rib nut. And that way I could bolt my radiator to the car. Other things, any kind of custom mods that you want to do, say you want to add something to a firewall or to even a fender or something like that, you use the rib nut tool. They're very, very handy. I love them. I use them anytime I can instead of using self-tappers or instead of trying to drill something to re-tap it just so you can get a little bit of threads in there. A rib nut has plenty of threads to hold on to so that whatever you are securing to the car, you So whatever that you're securing to the car, you have the peace of mind that is not going to go anywhere and that is going to be safe, not come off, but then also, you, but it's also easy to remove. So it's not like a rivet where once you put that rivet into whatever body panel or anything that you have it in, you kind of have to like break it out, drill it out, do whatever you have to do to get it out. Well, on this one, you just unthread the bolt, remove whatever item that you decided to put onto your car, say replace it with something that works or something better. It's easy to do. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below if you guys want to know any more questions or comments on this RivNut tool. And you guys have a great day. Stay different and hit that subscribe button. Just do it. it takes like three seconds. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it.